What's going on everyone, RC84 here, like always, thanks for watching, well look what finally came in the mail, my new RC military truck here from uh, WPL Models, now I'm not exactly sure too much about this company, uh, I do know they're a China based company, so don't expect too much, <laughs> alright, okay so, I uh, came across this 16th scale military truck, it's a World War II truck, one of my favorite off-road military vehicles other than the Hummer H1, the old Deuce here. Now, let me show you guys this amazing little RC here. And let me shift some light over here so that we have some light. Now look at this guys, very nice, a lot of amazing detail, this is hard plastic body. Just a lot of detail work right into the body itself, from the back bed here to the front cab, which actually, if you look into the cab here, oh, studio light, uh, try to get it there. All right, so as you see inside the cab there, I have actual seats, the steering wheel, the dashboard, all in there. There you go. So that's pretty awesome. Got some new mirrors here on the side, the smokestacks in the back. That's really awesome. Got these little cool uh, gas tanks here on the side. Uh, the tires are actual rubber, and they can be taken off by just a few screws. Uh, that's really awesome. Um, we got here in the front, it actually has working LED lights, uh, which I'll show you that in just a minute. Now, I'll, uh, pop up in the hood here. And that's where your battery will go in right there, as you see. All right, so we got that one. Now, let's talk about the undercarriage, or the chassis and all. As you can see, it has a nice metal chassis going all the way down the length of the vehicle, which is pretty awesome. And let me adjust my light here so we can get some, <laughs> get some light into it. So look at the undercarriage here, guys. The chassis is fully, like I said, it has a metal frame chassis, which is pretty awesome. And it is full drive. You see the drive shafts right here. Actual drive shafts, just like my SCX-10 and the uh, uh, the Unimog and all my vehicles have the drive shafts. Full drive. There's the transfer case and the motor. And back there. Now look at this right here. This truck is driven on leaf springs. The suspension is leaf springs. Now I've never actually had an RC vehicle that had leaf springs until now. Uh, so it's going to be a little different, I think. It may be a little different than the shocks, uh, but that's really awesome just to have uh, leaf springs on it. That's pretty cool. So, now I do want to point this out. Look at this right here. A toy grade servo. Wow. <laughs> so don't expect too much of great turning. Uh, probably going to hear some noise, a lot of... Uh, these toy grade ones you'll hear the you know, the sound of it and all that but uh, hopefully I don't know but probably I might will go ahead and upgrade this to a hobby grade servo so that way it won't be so loud and I'll have actual turning ability and it looks like pretty much I can actually do it so it's just gonna take some little modifications to make the um, you know make a servo fit in there and just like convert everything to hobby grade so that's pretty cool so we'll, I'll try to do that but first before I even do that I will uh, do a run video of it <laughs> all right so let me put that truck to the side we'll talk about the rest of the stuff we have here all right we have the controller which is a 2.4 gigahertz controller very uh, plastic like like I feel like if I drop this thing right now it would probably break or shatter or crack or something but uh, it's 2.4 gigahertz. There's no type of trim uh, buttons on it, no, tr no throttle, no steering trim on it. Uh, it's just one button and that's on and off. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Now, the steering wheel, look at it. Hear that? That says not a lot of turning radius on this vehicle. All right, so we have our manual here, which is just the basic information of like, you know, how to charge it up. Now it comes in English and Chinese. You've never seen Chinese instructions? Here you go. You have seen it now. <laughs> Alright. So let's put that to the side. Alright. So we're going to start off with our battery here. Uh, we've got a 700 milliamp uh, NICDAA, 
with a funky little cord on it. Uh, Runtime, I think around 10, 15 minutes. I'm not exactly sure on it. I'm not, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. But uh, now we have our USB charger, which we can plug this in, into one of our uh, phone chargers or the computer. It's got that little funky end. Whatever these ends are called, let me know, guys. Comment down below. I want to know what these ends are called on these typical batteries. All right. Okay. Now they also send you some spare leaf springs uh, for the truck, which is awesome for them to send some extra parts. It's nice. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Not much uh, product information in the uh, the vehicle itself or on the box. Uh, it does have this cool little wood crate um, feel to it. <laughs> but, uh, it also shows a picture of the uh, RC and then uh, of course military truck super series 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, over here it has uh, full wheel drive and then down here it has uh, some information about it and just down here in the box uh, just some more general information it also comes in two different colors it comes in that gray color which is right there which is I have and then it comes in that like a desert sand color I decided to go with the gray color um, but I might end up painting this actual green to uh, match the, uh, the military tanks I already have so yeah so I think now it's time to install the batteries and test it out here on the workstation and then take it outside see what it can do and hopefully we'll get something done with this all right all right so bear with me for a moment and I'll plug it all in and we'll test it out all right all right guys so I got the batteries installed in the controller which takes two AA batteries I did not cover that in the first part of the video now uh, let's go ahead and turn on our remote we got a blinking light say we got power and then the power button for the truck is right here there goes those LED lights let me show you pretty cool now there's no lights in the rear which that's okay that's fine well, we got lights in the front that's nice so let's put it here and we'll test it out and see how this thing goes so let's go ahead all right so uh, <laughs> all right Oh, how about that? You can actually adjust the speed. That's pretty cool. Now let's try to turn it. Oh. That's that toy grade server working. Alright. Actually, pretty fast. I can't do too much here. Now I do see that the rear here needs a lot of weight because it's bouncing around, especially being on those leaf springs. Definitely makes it a little challenging for it. But actually doing pretty good. Just needs a little weight in the rear. How about we test it out and uh, see about how well it does on the crawling thing. So I got some little wood wedges here. I'm going to test it out and see. All right. All right, let's see. Let's go for it. Alright, so let me grab the camera here and we'll move it around a little bit. So, not too bad, guys. It actually does pretty good. 
I mean, it could be better. Uh, definitely with some, probably some upgraded modifications to it, like the motor-wise, uh, probably the ESC, the servo. It definitely could make it a good uh, scale crawler. Uh, just with the little modifications, I think it would be a great uh, trail truck. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So I think this is covers much, pretty much the video here. If you guys got any questions about it, um, definitely comment down below. I would definitely help you out, guys, uh, as much as I possibly can. Um, yeah, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. And um, if you have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe now, guys. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, hopefully get this out here and do another video for you guys. So uh, thanks for watching, guys.